All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to create face fusion here in After Effects. Now, I did this face fusion a couple of times in Photoshop. I experimented with it and I just learned how you can do this in After Effects as well. So let's take a look. All right, so let's create a new composition, rename it as Final Comp, and I'm gonna go with like 1080p, 10 seconds, black background, click OK. And first here, I'm gonna drag and drop the portrait of the subject, and I'm gonna press the letter S and scale it down and make it fit. Right click on the image and let's go and select pre-compose, rename it as subject and select move all attributes into new composition, click OK. Now let's go and create a new solid here, right click, go to new and let's select solid. Rename it as displacement and click OK. And now let's go to the effects and presets, type in fractal noise, drag and drop the fractal noise on the displacement layer. Now let's go to the fractal type, I'm going to change it to max. Let's go and increase the contrast. I'm going to go with 150 and open up the transform. Let's go to scale. I'm going to go with 1500 and I'm also going to decrease the complexity to 2. And then we're going to need to animate the evolution here. So it's going to make this a liquid effect. So I'm going to press and hold Alt and I'm going to click on the stopwatch at the evolution. And it's going to open up the expressions. And here I'm going to go with time asterisk 50. So it's going to move it slow. So now I can go ahead and scroll up. I'm going to collapse the layer and uncheck the displacement layer. Now let's go back to the layer with the subject, select it, and we're going to go to the effects and presets. And let's search for displacement map. And I'm going to drag the displacement on the subject layer. And here I'm going to go to the displacement map layer and change it to displacement. Let's go to source, change it to effects and masks. And then here, pretty much all you need to do is just increase the horizontal displacement and it's going to start distorting the portrait. Check this out. I'm going to go with like 370. That's the best fit for this specific portrait, of course. And it's going to look something like this. And pretty much that's it. And pretty much that's how you make this face fusion here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.